In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to reverse a payment mistakenly made to a vendor um, or refund a payment from a vendor. Um, it's the same exercise in both cases. So to start with we need to go to purchasing vendors. You need to find the vendor that you want to apply the refund to and you need to start by looking at the ledger entries. So to do this highlight the vendor, go to process, ledger entries. And then you're going to see the um, payments, invoices, and credit notes, etc. And in this case, we want to refund this particular payment here. So to refund a payment, it must be unapplied. So if you look at this particular entry here, we can see that the remaining amount is zero, which means that the document, the payment has been applied to documents, even though it's been mistakenly applied to the um, vendor. So to start with, we need to unapply the entries. So to do this, again, highlight the payment, go to actions functions, unapply entries, process, unapply, and then press yes. And now you can see that the remaining amount on this transaction is the full payment amount. And we can also see that this transaction is now open. So this payment to this vendor is now ready to be refunded or reversed. So to do this, we need to search for payment journals. So you can do this by pressing the search function in the top right or by pressing Alt Q on the keyboard. Search for payment journals. Select the payment method of which you wish to reverse to. So in this case, we're going to re reverse the payment or refund the payment back to the bank. And now this is really important. You've got to make sure that you select the right date. So if you're doing a reversal, you need to select the same date the payment was made. If you're just refunding it, you just um, select the date the money was actually refunded. Now the document type must be refund. By default, it's going to be payment, but you must change it to refund. The document number should self-populate. If not, you can um, apply your own document number. Account type must be vendor. Find the uh, vendor number. And then you must select the payment method code. So if you paid um, from the bank, then we can apply the payment as in-bank. If you're just refunding an amount of money, then you can put a transaction in here. But if you're applying it to an actual transaction, i.e. you're reversing a payment, then you can actually select applies to document number. And in here, we will see the payment we're refunding. So we're going to apply this refund directly to this payment. So it's going to close it off in the ledger entries. And you can see that it's actually bought it through as a negative balance, which is correct when you're applying a refund to a vendor. So what we do from this stage, we very simply just go process, post. Do you want to post the journal lines? Yes, we do. So if we take a quick back look at the vendor, we can see that a payment was made on the 26th of April and a refund was made on the 16th of October. Like I said, if you're doing a reversal, it will be the same date. If it is a genuine refund, um, then it could be a different date. And you can see that both these transactions have a zero remaining amount. And we, again, we can see that both these transactions are now closed. And if I select this payment, for example, um, and go to navigate entry applied entries, I can see that the payment has been applied to that refund, which means the ledger is now closed um, for the payment and the refund. I hope that helps. If there's any questions, please let me know. Thank you.